A million years. Two weeks to finish. <laughs> Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Cool. All right, here we go. Your controls are for looking up and down. Reverse? No. Why would I want that? I have heard was a, a fun hacking game in my opinion. But Starfield gave something better for story and customization. I mean, critics are saying Hi Fi Rush. Hi Fi Rush is Xbox's best game and it shows. There. So, I mean, nothing's wrong with Starfield, but I found Hi Fi Rush was like, if you if they had a game to represent this their platform, I would pick Hi Fi Rush over Starfield. Bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. How's the audio for the game? I find the game audio to be low. I'll raise it up. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Oh my god! Oh my god. You think you could just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for you. Publish another one of your shitty stories, cause I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Okay. I an avocado. You missed your deadline. Damn. You can't stop me. Oh. 
I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. Bad day for you, man. Hurry! It's weak, it's me. Play Stewart, remember? Put the Yeti sign. There's no time to lose. A good run. I was trapped. There was no way out. Okay. Follow the light. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. But the lights keep breaking. Hold on, I haven't. I never played Alan Wake, so I've decided to start my run now. To tell you, it goes like this: for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Mm. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. It's a battery. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Uh -huh. Here, take the gun. Okay. Now you'll die. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That okay. is all. I will give you back your dream now. What? In the what? nightmare, 
What the hell is going on here? Taking over the world. The lighthouse was nice. That everybody you picked up for three dollars. Halloween stuff for three dollars. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is like one of the games that I got like when there was uh going away because of the music licensing. Um. And then I also got it for free on Epic Games. Like, I feel like I, I, I got this game like a million times. Where are you the battery for my cat for my flashlight? You made me this way, and now I'm gonna This is it, witch. What the? I hit dodge. Besides that, I'm also like a little sleepy, you know, so I might, this is going to be a shorter stroom. Shorter stroom. I didn't hit dodge. I keep pressing B to dodge and not LB. Alright. Buddy fell off the cliff. Sure you want the smoke? There you go. Bye bye. It's actually pretty funny how they fall off the cliff. They have seven bullets left. I can keep this up. Unnecessary. Is 
doesn't look bad for a, what, a 360 game? It doesn't look bad at all. Wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, and if you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Right, sir. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Do you, old man? Do you? So I say, I say that about Kingdom Hearts. I'm oh, sorry. Been, been playing a buttload of role like otherwise. Uh, I have to, I, I, I would have to start this or Kingdom Hearts. Although I've been saying about Kingdom Hearts every month. It's been like two years. Oh my God. Kingdom Hearts would take a lot. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. This right. one you could get done in 11 hours or something like that? Yeah. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Good Alan, talk. We're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Ooh, the actual Lincoln? Damn! We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. 
I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. With Microsoft Sync, let's go. Oh my God, you can tell this is a Microsoft Thank game. You for coming here with me. Oh my you. God. Go I'll promise to behave. They put a link in, in the game with Microsoft Sync. Hilarious. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Carl? I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when uh -huh. I took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad <laughs> circulation. Both my legs yeah, went to are sleep. You serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Alright, talk to this guy. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. What kind of bathroom situation is this? Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Are you stuck, Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. Please don't. And to meet your wife. What? Please don't. I insist. Oh. Thanks. All right, well. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on would you, Tom? I wish. All right, I'm in the coconut. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. But I'm leaving. Bye, Mr. Wake. 
Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That Wait, diner what? was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Huh. Definitely a dim cut game. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Hmm. My lady. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? The uh hell? -huh. The power cable goes to that shed over there. generator had been connected to the power cable. Look at that. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. I just it wanted to hang out. Place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Oh. Turn to Alice. I'm going to focus on something. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Interesting. Why is that? I am feeling a little the bit sleepy, chat. So I'm not going to be staying for story. too long. Maybe it would be that again. 
I'm gonna be calling it early so that way I'm like refresh. I was figuring we Alice? just get ready Honey? for. I just figured we just play a little bit, you know? The old door had played a trick on me. Alice the wouldn't have come out in the dark. Before he started to arrive, just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can roll him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phone. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Well, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh, do you know? Well. Hello there. Well, hello. I'm not a surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. What? Okay. You mean you're not the surprise? Better not be a book. Surprise! Oh, come on, Alice. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice! You, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. Huh. The hell did you fall? God damn it, Alice. Damn it. <sighs> Alice? gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! Alan! What the hell? Me! The hell? Alan! No! No! Ah! Alice? Ah! Alice? Oh no! <gasps> God damn it, Alice! Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Way to go, Alice. Uh. Waking up in the crashed car. Felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Oh no. Damn it, Alice. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma. Uh -huh. By Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. Hi, Raymond. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. I don't like his smug face either. So smuggy. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Perfect. 
I swear, I swear you just came on. I leaned my chair back to watch after saying hello, and now it's an hour later. <laughs> you have a little nap, Raymond? You have a little power nap? I was mentioning that I, uh... I'm gonna be, uh... It's gonna be a short stream. Hello? I'm very tired as well. Hi, Cobalt. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Huh. Ah. You like the crazy person who was after us? Good time for some rest, for you sir. Soon, soon I'll soon I'll, I'll I'll go. I'm I'm like I'm not. I don't think I'm even the last two hours. I'm very tired. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. I just figured that you know we'll we'll start off. I'll awake a little bit, and then uh. Set ourselves up for the week. You the know. lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Hmm. Anybody there? Star. Please. I've been in an accident. They don't care. This is Monday. People hey. get the case of the Mondays. I see early. Hey, you! Yeah. <laughs> There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To meet you. Non refundable reservation has required. Fair and square. Is that the man we were looking for before? Second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. How convenient. During your trying, it's the latest. Oh my god, do you even have energizer batteries? Testably proven health benefit let you kill Yes Stone Bright Fall Sheriff Station. Oh man. Hello? Hello?
Well. Uh oh. During your trying, it's the latest thing. In Testably proven health benefits let you kill with one stone. I wasn't about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. Yes. Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Hold me up. Hello? Hello? You can't duck in this game? Or crouch? Fitting. You can't crouch in this game. That is a little interesting. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hope Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. There were more of them. Stop it! Jerk! God damn it. <laughs> I keep pressing another, I, I keep pressing other buttons. Ow, for dodge? Because it feels like dodge deserves to be there. There were more of them. Damn it. Still getting used to it. Hold on. Beef. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. That's fine. Ow! Okay. 
eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Oh. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. More flare guns. Wait, why am I down to one? I picked up more before. Yes, SP. Hmm. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. That's what I want to know. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. But then I looked. But then I looked. Got that coffee? Nice. How am I supposed to get back over there? <laughs> oh, I forgot to try. Um, the eight thirty here. No coffee at this time. Uh, it ain't weird as as coffee at at, uh, at your time. I guess what that's true. That? What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Oops. It okay, came from there. I don't want to even look at the water. And your dumb flashlight, take it off. Oh, the battery's always dying. Game is it's it's interesting I would say. A little interesting.
Wait, didn't we? Did we just make a circle? What the hell? Huh. Um, this is where I end up last time. And then I try to jump over, and then I mean that's all we wrote after that. That was the last. That was his last story. Not quite sure where I need to go. Nope, not there. Well, I don't know where to go, chat. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is reach the gas station. Oh my God. Whoops. And then we jumped up here earlier, but this this brought us back. Yeah, because this is the way we came. So alright. I SP. SP's like, go to bed, Dad. Ow. It takes me here. to go like it shows this way but i don't see a way across we push this maybe maybe we can go this way There we go. Stucky was still out there in the dark, stalking me. Good old Stucky. God damn. All right.
climbing up. Fire symbol. Damn, look at this marketing. Energizer bunny. I mean, I don't know if it's fair that I promote an energizer and they you had to change it so frequently. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Oh, Lord of mercy. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. You had to get up there, huh? Oh, your wife was in the water, so I think she's long gone now. Oh, oh, by the way, you were right. It canceled my old sub and restarted on, on an 11. That's what I figure we'll do. Hell yeah. Well, thank you once again for a tier two sub rate, man. Really appreciate it. Oops. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Hmm. It was kind of unclear what what was going to happen to the point I thought I, I just update it and when it was going to charge me again on the 13th. Look, I think that gets prorated or or something. They already have you for the month. But if you resub there with another month. So. The stairs were useless. I had to find something else to help me climb up there. But well, thank you once again.
Nope, won't budge. Okay. I thought God damn it. The way I did, they just sneak around you. Oh my god. I don't remember how I even the got there. The stairs were useless. I had to find something else to help oh. me climb up there. God damn it. You jerk. See, I'm just trying to start. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, what? Hey, Goof. I move this. was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now but if you're still up and around take a moment step outside for a spell and breathe in deep mm, the weather is absolutely still the sky is crystal clear it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you do you listeners know I'm a, I'm a night owl and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and don't keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on here. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something 
rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find him. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Hmm. The gas station was closer now, its light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Come on, look. Buster is the best with no coat. Monster dog is second best. The famous dog is. Two. 